Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm about to set my bird on the ground and then I'm probably going to start running. In the last episode, we were running around in the snowy area and um, I have some bad news to report on that front. I had left you in the middle of trying to knock a T-Rex out and oh, you turned your head right at the wrong time. And as it turned out, yeah, I ended up killing the T-Rex. It didn't work out. Are you going to attack me or run? I don't know which you do. Attack me it is. Good. I was actually hoping for that. There you go. Hold that for me. Because that means I can hop on Big Bird here. And with a little luck, I can find somewhere to get this guy stuck. That's kind of the plan right now. Is I would like to tame this big thing. And uh, even if I can't get it stuck somewhere, it's not going to be too big a deal to hop off shoot it, hop back on, and, you know, kind of kite it a little bit. I'm, I'm okay with doing that. I suspect I might not have enough arrows to do this, though, which could be a problem because then I would, of course, need to run back home or fly back home, as it were. And, um, yeah, that might not work out too well when I'm trying to actually get this done in a relatively short order. Man, there just aren't really any good rocks to get it stuck on, are there? No, I mean, this is kind of the best grouping over here, but these aren't really all that good. I suppose I could try and drag it down. That might work out well. Now, let's go ahead and we'll go this way. It's going to chase me, and that's that's fine. That's what I want. And I'll go ahead and shoot it in the face, or thereabouts. And let's just let it come over here. Maybe I can get it stuck on these rocks. There are quite a few. Maybe if I, um, if I park it over here... How would you, how do you, how do you do navigating all that stuff? Surprisingly well. And now you're stuck. Oh, I have you stuck in the ground. I'm really kind of cheating. Oh, no, you're out. Never mind. False alarm. Parasaur is fine. Let's go ahead over this way and see how you do with these rocks. I'm just going to land right here. I'm just chilling for a minute. I'm actually afraid to hop off. There we go. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and drag you down to the beachfront then, and uh, if I need to, I can drag you all the way home. I mean, wasn't really planning on doing that. Are you stuck there? Or are you just not sure what to do yet? Oh, apparently Big Bird is fighting a Dilo, which is probably not good timing for me. It's all right. I'll, I'll let him do that. He's cool. He's taking care of things. I'll just put another arrow in your behind there, sir. Or madam. I didn't see what you were. Okay. Oh, incoming. Alright, big bird. Let's go find a rock to get this whatever you are stuck on. Male or female. I'm not sure which you are. Actually, this is kind of ideal right here. Let's see. Can I get up high? No, I'm not going to get up high enough, unfortunately. Oh, that'll work. Ah, uh, Really? Stupid Dilo. Stupid, stupid Dilo. You're a problem. You know that? But I have this guy stuck. Or girl. Whichever you are. Which is perfect. That's what I was trying to do. Big Bird, you're fine over there. Just chill for a minute. So, apparently I need to load this guy up with a bunch of uh, arrows. And like I said, I don't know that I have enough. I missed with at least one. A couple of them were not headshots. I don't know how much torpor they have, especially because I don't know what level this one is. Level 9 male, so it's not necessarily going to be at the highest end of the spectrum, but I believe these guys do have a fair amount of torpor, so this may or may not end well. But this is something I've been meaning to do since these guys were added a while back, and it's kind of your... I think, really, it's meant to be the first foray into mobile bases. You can build a platform on the back of them. You can kind of carry a little bit of stuff around. I like the idea of using one of these for, I don't know, like a mobile smithy forge. I don't know, kind of stuff along those lines. Now, obviously, that seems like that would fit in well with the snowy biome, but that biome is really difficult. So, well, maybe difficult is the wrong word. Unforgiving. That might be a better one. There we go. Knocked it out. Now, here's the problem. I don't have anything that I need to actually tame it right now. So, um, 
let's uh well let's double check one nope sure don't let's head back to base so we're going to go back to base i'm going to grab a bunch of narcotics because i have read these things can go through a bunch of narcotics i don't really have what i need to to kibble tame them i don't believe that was uh is it scorpion for these guys scorpion kibble i might need to kick back out to windows for a moment here just to to double check that one and if I do, well, I do have some scorpion kibble. I'll, I'll take that with me here. Just uh, I'll grab that and we'll see if that does the trick. And if not, I can always grab a bunch of mijo berries. I have farms just for that reason. So we'll be fine. So long as nothing walks up and kills it while I'm running back to collect materials. So I'll be right back with you here. This is going to be one of those episodes that's kind of boring for me. And um, I don't necessarily mean boring boring but let me uh, let me rephrase that because it's not boring it's um standing around in a sense so i suspect this is going to be one of those episodes for me i don't have what i need to do any sort of kibble taming it's just not going to happen but i do happen to have a bunch of carrots and mijo berries and if i need to i can go back and grab more i'm kind of hopeful that 49 will be enough yeah that's going to be plenty with my taming settings, it'll be okay. So, oh man, I was going to get the, the meat there for Big Bird. Oh, this one's still over here. Big Bird, you need some more meat because I was going through a lot of it as I was flying around with him. So I was actually doing a little more stuff. I'll uh, hang with you for just a moment before we kind of kick out. But I was actually flying around with him a fair amount. I was trying to find something else. I could not find what I was looking for, so instead I decided, ah, you know, that's fine. We'll look for something else. And uh, the Parasaur actually, like I said, it's something I have been looking for for a while now, so it, it's not that I wasn't excited by finding one of these. It's just I was actually looking to do a little something different, something that uh, I've been meaning to take care of and just haven't yet. But that's okay. It's not a big deal, because like I said, I actually have some some ideas for how I might be able to use one of these guys, and uh, it's a little early to say if it's going to work out well, because, like I was saying, I, I kind of like the idea of maybe a mobile base for processing, but they're not the strongest creatures in the world, so I'm a little unsure about how far I can take one of these guys into, say, the crazy wilds of the, the snowy biome, but... That can be something that I'll worry about a little later on, and, and uh, you know, maybe a few turds would take care of things. I don't know, but uh, I'll be back with you. It's morning, even though it might not look like it because it's raining, but it is morning, and the team is progressing. You can see he's getting pretty close to halfway, but I got to show you something here. Yeah, I'm already at under half of my carrots that I brought. Yeah. 50 of them, or 48, or 49, or whatever it was, actually aren't going to be enough. Now, I think I will still have enough berries in there, although it's highly likely I'll end up losing... Well, I figure I'm going to lose at least one level anyway, so he'll end up being maybe a plus... I'm guessing at this point a plus two. If I go back and grab some grass or... Grass? No, uh corn or carrots or something along those lines i might be able to to save it and get a plus three but uh, you know at level nine it's not a big deal what's the difference between being i don't know an extra two levels or an extra three or even an extra four it's not going to matter that much so i'm just gonna hang out here we're just uh we're just hanging i'm still loading him up with narcotics and i'm sure i'll be doing a few more too so uh you know what i'll be doing He's pretty close now. He'll actually only be a couple of berries away. He's gone through all of the carrots at this point, and he's gone through, I don't know, good... Well, let's see how many. I'm not sure how many berries. Uh, quite a few, actually. So I think at least one or two of those spoiled. Looks like the next one should do it. I don't have a name for this guy right off the top of my head. Now, I may. Uh, if you want to throw in a, a name in the hat, by all means, go ahead. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a a community naming contest for him or not. Um, I'm not sure how I want to approach that just yet, but there we go. Got a Paraceratherium. That is quite, quite the name to try and rattle off 
ever so quickly. So we'll go ahead and close that. We're just going to accept you. You do not need to be following me, good sir. In fact, you should be following Big Bird. So let's go ahead and drive him back home. And I'm going to pause for just a moment, pull up the engrams, because I just want to take a quick look. I don't remember off the top of my head where this guy is. Um, I still want to play with the ballistas. That'll, that'll be coming. Imagine me holding up my finger as if to say, it'll happen. We just need to happen, need to maybe wait a little while. There we go. So that would be the platform. So the Pariser saddle is actually going to be up here somewhere. And I got to admit, I'm not entirely sure where it is. There's a Stego saddle. I have skipped a lot of things, mind you. At some point, I will be having to reset everything. That's the level 25 stuff. Wow, we are going down a little lower. I don't know where it is. It's not going to be way down here because this is the the early stuff. I mean, there's the Ichthy saddle, the Parasaur saddle, Thiomia saddle. That's the very first one. So clearly I scrolled past it. So let's do Para. Here we go. Parasaur, Parasaur saddle. There it is. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're going to learn platform saddle because that's what we're going to do with this guy. Yeah, that filter is very handy. I want to say that's a pretty recent addition too. This guy looks like a big rhinoceros, doesn't he? Maybe a big elephant crossed with a rhinoceros. I don't know. Something along those lines. Got to say, it seems to be pretty... Um, agile isn't necessarily the word I want, but... I mean, it's not having anywhere near the same problems of getting around rocks as, say, a T-Rex is. I had a lot of trouble there early on when we were trying to first knock this guy out. I, I couldn't really get him stuck on anything. I mean, it took quite a while. It wasn't until I brought him down to the island, to the island, down to the shoreline, where there were some bigger rocks where I was able to do that. A T-Rex, you can get stuck on comparatively small rocks. So I was a little surprised it took that much effort to get him to basically get himself stuck. Okay, we're just going to let him do a little off-roading. He'll be fine. There he goes. Now, I don't know how I want to store him just yet. When I say store, that's kind of a cold word, but I mean, I will need to park him somewhere, but he's at least small enough that I can bring him inside, I think, without too much trouble. You know, I was thinking too, I wouldn't mind taking the wolves back to the the snowy biome, let them kind of hang out in that area. Maybe they can guard the, the mining outpost, but honestly, I'm a little worried about them. They're not the strongest creatures. They might look like they are, they're really not. They don't have any armor. You might not actually fit through that gate. That's, um, that's fine. We can park you over here because... I suspect you'll be able to, to get through that. Look at that, like a champ. Maybe he should be called champ. This guy, you know what? Yeah, he's going to be called champ because look at him. He is just navigating like a champ. I like it. I'm, I, am, I am on board with that. I hope you are too because I'm going to run with it like things you're not supposed to run with. So let's run back outside here because I did say it was going to run. And let's go find him. Righty. Mr. Paraceratherium. You need a name. You are Champ. So this is Champ. I like it. I like it. And you know what? He did get four levels. I thought for sure he'd lose one or two. Nope. He didn't lose a single one. He got all four. That's Champ right there. Let's take a look at his stats. I'm just curious. Can carry a fair amount. He's about half a Bronto. I suspect he's gotten a lot of points that went into food, which is kind of a shame. He's going to need a little more health just to be able to survive. Of course, once they get a saddle on him, that'll help. That's what I was saying with the wolves. They don't have any armor, so they don't have the same survivability of other other, other creatures that are saddleable. So, um, you know, problem for them. But this guy, we'll get a big platform saddle on him. We'll figure out what we're going to load him up with. You can, of course, send me your suggestions. Leave a comment. What do you think should be on his platform? Should he be a gunship? Should he be... Well, I don't know if I can do a gunship, honestly. I, that requires all sorts of stuff that I haven't done yet. And, uh, I mean, I'm doing a lot of things single player that aren't entirely cr 
crazy, but doing a bunch of auto turrets, that might be more than I can realistically gather on my own. In which case, we'd have to be talking about spawning in materials to do that, and uh, I don't know that I really want to go there, but tell me what you think we should do with this big guy up here, and uh, we'll take a look at that in either the next episode or the following. I might need a little more lead time, just because, you know, it takes a while to actually gather materials when you want to do things. You can put the saddle on him, I think. I'll have to see. Well, here, let's just take a look at what it takes to saddle him. Oh, man, this is like the greatest thing ever. Sort of. Hmm. Maybe platform? No. No. Yeah, no. Here, how about if I do this? No. 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 Pair. Uh, no. No, that's right. It's because I'm going to have to go to a smithy for it. Well, here, let's go take a look at that right quick so we can plan, sort of plan anyway, what we're doing for the next episode. This will tell me how much lead time I need. Well, not this on its own, but in part. Okay, so, hi, cat. Wow, I might need to go get some more pearls. I don't have that many. I actually have enough metal, that's not a problem for once. I don't think I have 45 silica pearls. I definitely have 25 cementing paste, so we will saddle him on the next episode. That is, that's what we'll be doing on the next episode, at least in part. What we do with that platform saddle, you tell me. I don't know that I can make everything work, but uh, I can do my best. So I will catch you on the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I sure had fun finally getting a Parasur. It's been on my to-do list. But uh, we'll take care of that stuff on the next one. So till then, thanks for watching. I'm going to go get me some more cementing paste because I can. See you later.